Hey, it's Jody. I have a new process video for the Robin's Nest Creative, and today I'm scrapping a picture of my beloved Uncle John and my Aunt Loretta. This was their wedding day. It was a beautiful beach day on the West Coast in California. Um, they had been together for over 10 years I believe had a son and uh, they finally they def finally decided to get married and um, if you don't know we lost my uncle John uh, a year about a year and a half ago so um, I think scrapping and talking about it and creating is really helping me uh, move through my grief um, and of course my Aunt Loretta um, adores my projects um, and I, I think it's just a nice way um, to remember them. Um, I did start off with Vicki Booten's foundation paper. I knew I wanted to get messy so I grabbed a piece of that and I grabbed my trusty Distress Oxides in Kitsch Flamingo and salvaged patina just did a little smushing and splattering um, and I'm using an older collection from Paige Evans oh gosh I can't think of the name for the life of me of oh, the scenic route yes yes that's it and it's such a fun a fun uh, and bright colorful collection uh, today I have picked the pinks and the lighter blue and the white diamond dew drops, the blue teardrops, and the pink original dew drops to add to my page. And uh, my first project this month was using a cut file um, and creating shaker elements. Uh, so I thought this project to do a little something different. So I'm just putting um, do jobs right on the layout. So um, I'm adding some vellum behind my photo and then a little layer of those beautiful butterflies just to bring all those pretty colors onto the page. I put a few um, just two strips of that pretty pink pattern paper and um, my background is almost dry. You could see it does take a minute on that um, foundations paper I think because you know it's made for the water so it kind of sits there for a little longer um, so my idea is to make these circles around my project and kind of add my dew drops along these circles. So I got a trusty paper plate, right? I don't know about you, but <laughs> they make the best circles. Uh, and I tried the little dew drop um, sticker paper and I don't know, I just... I couldn't get it to work. I might need um, a different tool to pick it up, but um, but that's okay. I just use adhesive liquid glue. Um, that's what I did. So I'm sticking everything down with a little adhesive dimensional foam. That little bird is so cute. I had to use it. That pretty pink bird and I don't have very very much embellishments left in this collection um, I've, I've used it sparingly um, but of course all the embellishments are so fun to use that they seem to go a little faster than the actual 12 by 12 pattern papers um, now for my dew drops I I have started a little collection of these little plastic <laughs> containers. Um, I had the triangle ones 
for a sequence and then those little round ones are usually is what I usually use to make white or black splatters so I'm definitely going to need to invest in more of them and getting them out and ready just seems to help the process um, go a little smoother I feel um, I, you know I could definitely just shake them onto my mat <coughs> excuse me but um but yeah I I think keeping them contained being able to see their true color is important and I just get to work I uh, I make sort of a little bit of a pattern that I stick with and I just think it really brings it all out so here we go now you could totally fast forward I would not be offended in any way um, I'm picking out the pink I like and the blue I like um, there was a lighter pink and a darker pink so I picked the light pink in the original dew drops and then the darker light blue in the teardrops and then white ones from the black and white ones the the diamond dew drops so yeah that was a lot of fun and you could see I needed more I needed more of all of them so I grabbed my lid <laughs> and dumped all the pink so I could have enough. I don't know, but I don't think I use all of them, but I wanted to have plenty to begin. Yeah, I'm just, I'm taking all of them out. <laughs> and it, it really does, it does help my mind get into that mode of, look, this is what we're doing. And, uh, and let's go. So yeah, let's see. Oh, I have a pen. I was like, what are you doing? What is that? It's just a pen and I'm just going around my circles a little bit. Definitely loose, sketchy type circles. Um, and I do go back and erase my paper plate marks. <laughs> And I like using the black, um, especially in such a thin pen, just kind of makes it all pop out. And I'm ready to go. Like I said, I tried um, the the do do glue. <laughs> and I just, I don't know. I'm not that smart, so it could have been user error but I'll definitely practice and try again. And I decide to go with a pink, the blue, and then a white. And I just scatter that pattern along the circle rings. And that's just how it goes. And I, th I think it turns out really nice. It gives it some sparkle, but it definitely helps uh, move your eye around the whole page. And yeah, I found this little um, label tab. So I stuck a September sticker on it. That's actually from Ali Studio. Um, and then I added a few of the chipboard hearts. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. It is so worth sticking to um, your design and what you pictured, right? Sometimes it doesn't always work out, but this is way better than what I pictured. I really enjoyed creating this. Um, it makes me happy. And uh, I possibly uh, may make a little album for my aunt for her to keep. I do add a few more drops. I felt the blue um, was getting covered up a little much. 
but um, yes there are some final pictures I appreciate you watching I hope you're well take care I'll see you next time bye bye